Welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to uh, show you how to create very simple star knobs for jigs and fixtures for woodworking uh, and general jig making using the free software Inkscape. You can use Inkscape on PC, Mac and uh, Linux machines. Uh, it's very intuitive to use and very simple to, to learn. Uh, and for those that have an interest in making, uh, particularly uh, woodworking, uh, I'm going to be running a series of tutorials uh, using basic techniques in order to, to help you make uh, what uh, you want to make. Uh, I'm assuming that uh, the people that are going to design the, the knobs are going to use either a CNC or a laser cutter uh, uh, mainly, but that doesn't mean that you cannot print your design uh, glue it onto a piece of plywood or any other material like perspex or plastic and uh, cut the uh, design using a, a jigsaw, a copping saw or whatever cutter you would like to use. Um, okay so let's go ahead and use the uh, star and polygon tool. Uh, you can see that the shortcut for this is the asterisk but I'm going to click on the button and uh, you can go ahead and if you keep the control button for a Mac pressed, you can design uh, your uh, star. The polygon at the, at the moment uh, has three corners. Uh, I like either five or seven uh, corner uh, knobs. I'll show you a uh, seven corner one and I will change the shape to a star instead and uh, I will go ahead and uh, move this a little bit more centrally and uh, just for the sake of this tutorial change the thickness of the line to something, the, the stroke uh, to something that is so somewhat thicker so that you can actually see better uh, and, and a straight line. I can, I can close that. Uh, now uh, going back to the uh, to the polygon shape, uh, the spoke ratio will give you uh, the uh, the chance to, to to change the base radius to tip radius ratio. Uh, so uh, I like uh, a value that is close. I'll do it gradually so that you can see what it's actually doing. I like a value that is close to 0.7. Uh, here you go, but that's not an exact science. You, you can tweak that to whatever you want. And the roundness, which uh, controls how much rounded are the, uh, the, the corners are, where zero is absolutely sharp. I also like to have uh, something to that is close to 0.7. So uh, this is a kind of general shape that I like. Randomization you should keep uh, as zero because you want to perfectly symmetrical uh, knob. Now there's a very important thing uh, which is uh, introducing a hole in the middle uh, and that needs a little bit of thinking in terms of how you're going to allow uh, to align this hole. Uh, I would advise you to use the uh, uh, centering to page feature so that you don't have to think about it. So if I take this design make sure that the center to page alignment is uh, selected and click on center on the vertical axis and center on the horizontal axis then I can draw a circle and this you can uh, you can arrange to have at whatever size uh, hole you want to draw so for for the sake again of this example I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, assume that we will do a, an M10 uh, bolt so I can change the width to uh, 10 millimeters and the height to 10 millimeters and then I can uh, I can align that to the center of the page as well and I will have something that is uh, perfectly symmetrically centered and you can see what I mean if I if I click on this you will see where the center of gravity for this knob is so if I, if I was actually aligning the center of gravity for this circle to the center of gravity of the knob, you wouldn't get what you would like to do, which is the center of rotation for that knob. Okay, 
that's because of uh, of, the, of of the way that the knob is designed and the fact that it has seven spokes and they're not symmetrical to X and Y uh, the way that it's laid out on the paper. That's just something to remember. That's a, a helpful tip. Now, for those of you, of course, that are going to uh, uh, to use a laser cutter or CNC in order to uh, to to have this cut, you will have to adjust for the required uh, thickness, uh, the, the stroke, and and the color, uh, depending on uh, whether the laser cutter would need to engrave, cut, or 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 use a different action for that, or your CNC, whatever tool you're using. But I'm assuming that you know what to do for your own machine, and I'm just focusing on the design. Uh, so if I uh, if I wanted to to change the, uh, the the number of spokes, of course, of corners as the thing is calling it here, that would have been a very easy thing to do. Going back into the tool and changing the settings. Just make sure that you keep the center of gravity of uh, of this design centered to the actual page, so that you know exactly what's happening. Uh, and let's make sure that this is where it needs to be. So uh, this is it. I hope that you enjoyed that very simple tutorial. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon uh, for another tutorial in the future. Take care.